to this video we're going to graph inequalities, uh, two inequalities with or in between them and see what it looks like and also give the intervals and here's example 1, 2 and example 3 and 4. Watch out for examples 3 and 4 they will be kind of unusual, unusual answers there. Okay, So we'll start with example 1 first thing to do is to solve for x in both inequalities so please press pause and solve for x in both okay now I'll do it we'll subtract 4 from both sides we'll get 5x is less than negative 5 we'll divide by 5 get x on the left and on the right hand side negative over positive is a negative 5 over 5 is 1 and what way should the inequality sign go? we divide it by positive so it stays the same direction now please press pause and solve this inequality if you haven't done so yet okay now I'll do it we're going to subtract 2 and giving us a negative 2x on the left less than or equal to negative 10 then we're going to divide by negative 2 giving us x on the left negative over negative is positive 10 over 2, 2 is 5 so positive 5 on the right hand side and we divide it by a negative on both sides what should you do with the inequality sign? change direction right? change direction and the word or is in between both inequalities of course so these become x is less than negative 1 or x is greater than or equal to 5. So let's try and graph that. Start with x is le less than negative 1. Okay. Here is negative 1. So less than negative 1 would be all these guys. And just for a key, just remind yourself the parentheses mean what? The square brackets mean what? What do the parentheses mean? What do the square brackets mean? Do you remember? Parentheses mean not included in the set. Square bracket means is included. Okay, so um, that's why we have a parenthesis here because it's just less than negative one. X is greater than or equal to five would be the number six, seven, eight, nine, and even five as well, and everything in between. So these are the two. Um, inequalities but what does or mean or means that the num numbers need to be satisfying this or this for example negative 3 satisfies this one negative 3 is less than negative 1 so that's okay that's part of the solution negative 2 satisfies this one that's part of the solution everything in this inequality in this set is part of the solution uh, or anything in this set is also part of the solution okay so or means the the numbers have to be either in this set or this one okay and so the answer is both graphs together okay and of course this one goes from uh, negative 1 all the way down to negative infinity this one goes from 5 all the way up to positive infinity okay so when we go to give the interval for these two there's going to be two intervals one interval for this graph and another interval min max for this one because we have you know two uh, graphs as part of the answer so give the in interval for this graph press pause and do that for this graph it goes from negative 1 all the way down to negative infinity and a lot of people make a mistake on this interval what is the minimum in this set what is the minimum number in this set the minimum is negative infinity okay the maximum is negative 1 negative 1 is more than negative infinity now you can never get to infinity so that always has a parenthesis and um, negative one is not included so that is a parenthesis and for the interval for this guy the minimum value is five and the maximum value is 
positive infinity. 5 is included. Positive infinity is not, can't be. And so we have this or this. You could also write union. Okay, because union means or. Union is this combined with this. Combined. Combining the two sets. Okay. Or you could also put a union between these two inequalities. So you could go this, union this. Okay. Please press pause and try example two. And then check the video to see if you got the same answer as me. Hopefully we both get it right. Okay, now I'll try it. I'll subtract two from both sides. And I'll get negative x is greater than or equal to two. Now what do I do? I need x, not just negative x. Negative x is the same as negative one times x, so I need to divide by negative one on both sides. And that gives me x on the left and negative two on the right. What do I do with the inequality sign? I divided both sides by a negative, so I need to change direction. Okay, on this one, subtract three, and now I have four x is greater than four, divide by four, and x on the left, one on the right. What do I do with the inequality? Well, I divided by a positive, so I get greater than, so it is x is less than or equal to negative 2 or x is greater than 1. Let's graph that. Press pause and graph it and then give the intervals. Okay, now I'll do it. Less than or equal to negative 2 is from negative 2 in that direction Okay, to negative infinity greater than negative one, gre or sorry, greater than one is everything from one in this direction and so we're talking about this set or this set. This set or this set means the no a, a, a number is an answer if it's, an, if it's in this or this. So a number is an answer if it's in this or this. In other words, negative five is part of the answer, the solution. 3 is part of the solution. Negative 5 is just in this set, that's fine because the numbers just have to be in this one or this one, right? 3 is greater than 1, 3 is in this set. It's not in this one, but that's okay. You just have to have your answers in either in this inequality in this set or satisfying this inequality in this set. So the answer is both of these graphs combined. Not 0, for example, or negative 1, or 1 half. That is not part of the answer. One half is not in either one. Okay, so please press pause now and give your intervals. For this answer, we'll have two intervals, right? Because we've got two graphs combined. Okay, so give the interval for this graph. Press pause and give the interval for this graph if you haven't got it yet. The minimum number is not negative 2. The minimum is actually negative infinity. The minimum is always on the left. The max is on the right. Okay. The maximum is negative 2. Negative 2 is included. Negative infinity is not. And this graph goes from 1 all the way up to positive infinity or towards positive infinity. So min is 1, max positive infinity. Infinity is never included, and 1 is not included either because we have x is greater than 1. Not included, right? And both of these intervals need to be combined as part of, uh, as to give the answer. So it is this or this also represented by union. If I, if I join these together, that, that's the answer. And, and I could also put a union sign between these two inequalities, okay? Now example 3, x is less than 3 or x is less than or equal to negative 2. Please see if you can graph that. Press pause and graph it. Okay, now I'll do it. x is less than 3 would be everything from 3 in that direction. x is less than or equal to negative 2 would be everything from negative 2 
in that direction? The answer is um, numbers which satisfy this inequality or this inequality. For example, well, negative 5 satisfies both, right? So that's part of the answer because this has to satisfy 1. Well, that satisfies both, so that's fine. Negative 1 only satisfies this one. The x is less than 3. Okay, this is x is less than 3. This is uh, x is less than or equal to negative 2. Okay, uh, that's fine because it just, the answers have to satisfy just one of them. Uh, the number 1 just satisfies x is less than 3. That's okay. That's part of the answer. Um, everything up until 3 is part of the answer. But the likes, uh, and so basically what I'm trying to say is if you take everything from 3 down, all of these numbers satisfy either this inequality or this inequality. So the, and this goes all the way to um, negative infinity, okay? So this goes from 3 to negative infinity. So the answer as an inequality, in fact, is x is less than 3, okay? And of course, as an interval, that is from negative infinity to 3. So basically, yeah, and as long as it's not like the number 6, 6 would not be in either one, okay? So that's not part of the answer. Please press pause now and try example 4. Try example 4. x is greater than 0 or x is less than 5. Okay, now I'll do it. x is greater than 0. All these numbers. Okay, all numbers great, x greater than 0. x is less than 5. All these numbers from 5 down. Okay, this is x is less than 5. Okay. What numbers satisfy this or this? Let's see. Negative 2 only satisfies x is less than 5. So negative 2 is part of the answer. Negative 5 only satisfies this one. So negative 5 is part of the answer. All these numbers are part of the answer. 1 satisfies x is less than 5. So that's part of the answer. And it happens to satisfy this one too. That's okay. And so does 3, for example. So all these numbers still work, right? If you take the number... 5. 5 is not part of this answer, but it is part of this answer. 6 is not part of this, is not less than 5, but it is greater than 0, so it's part of this uh, set. 7 is as well. In fact, all of these numbers up here are part of this set. They, these go to positive infinity, right? So, the, you might have figured out, what is the answer then? Look what I'm filling in on the line graph. What is the answer? The answer is, well, every number all the way to negative infinity and all the way up to positive infinity. Can you give that as an interval? Min, comma, max. The answer as an interval would be from negative infinity to positive infinity. Right? Or we could also write the answer as all numbers, all real numbers. Real numbers just means any number that's actually on a number line. So all numbers basically is the answer. Everything.